Hello, welcome back. I'm John Harris, and welcome to another episode of my franchise zoo. Uh, we're gonna build our first habitat today. So first I'm gonna lay down the tracks because I promised uh, the tracks, the tunnel, would be inside the sleeping area of the animals. So after placing down the tracks, I'm gonna landscape it around so that the tunnel has the good height. I checked there uh, with some um, sleeping uh, area to see uh, if the height is at the correct area and, uh, because I don't want holes in the roof because when you put down the sleeping mat then the game automatically clears some of the space above it so let's uh, continue out with cleaning some of the area So now I'm gonna uh, make the terrain some more realistic. Uh, my favorite tool to use here is the level terrain tool. And uh, take just the middle of a mountain and just pull it towards you. Uh, so you can create, in my opinion, the most natural looking mountains. Uh, some terrain painting. I love the new uh, automatic paint, by the way. But it doesn't work good for animals because it mostly plays uh, high grass. But still, uh, on the sides of the mountain, it recognizes that it should be rock or fan, so that's really nice. So, for the staff area, I want, don't want them near the path, so I want the staff built in for each or maybe for two habitats each so that they uh, have their own work zone and can't even leave the habitat area. Uh, so let's build out the road some here because the viewing area is not allowed to go on the main road. Now first I'm gonna test out with no barriers because they're free the whole area just to see how it's in size because it's important when you're building it's, you're not building uh, too big or too uh, small habitat for the animal but as uh, seen here it's uh, okay so I can uh, continue with the building and some staff building. So here I will put the barrier door in at the height of the pet. I will make them already at both sides, but only one side will be a habitat today. The other side is for another habitat. Uh, I'm gonna cover up the staff area with uh, the mountain. So uh, it's uh, nice and covered and people don't realize it's there. Here I will change some of the barriers uh, to uh, one-way glass, so 
wilderness that people can see and the animals don't get stressed even though they are wolves i want to have this theme throughout my whole park uh, this one is gonna have normal barriers uh, this zoo not like my uh, sandbox zoo where i don't build with any better barriers at all uh, so the inside of the track of course also gets the one-way glass so that the animals sleeping don't bother by the train coming by all the time and here i will use a rock wall i used uh, and made for my sandbox mode i just have to change it a little bit because uh, when i made it in sandbox mode I see it has uh, tropical uh, plants all over it, so this has changed on this one. And the uh, back side of the wall also has to change a little bit, because I made it uh, for a uh, lower barrier, so only one side of the wall uh, was covered, so it has a floating uh, top. So I will cover it here uh, with rocks for the other side. And at this point I'm gonna put the wolves in, because it makes the placing uh, the plants a lot easier and removing the plants that are on the wall right now. So I'm just gonna filter some good ones real fast, put them in. And of course take some of the uh, stuff to bring them in. So then some terrain adjusting of course, the terrain is completely off like always. So now it's the time to uh, do all the plans. Remove the ones that the wolf don't like, and that was everything, of course, because it was a tropical wall. I'm gonna complete uh, the last bit of the wall first, I guess. So after that put in some uh, rock clusters where you can uh, plant against at the later point. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's completely uh, at the, the ground level at all points uh, there, because you're gonna plant against them anyway. But uh, yeah, floating things uh, are supposed to be uh, avoided. But uh, yeah, some uh, more clusters of uh, rock.
gonna add in a small uh, border area. I'm going to add some of the enrichment uh, toys that I will hide in the landscape. And the sleeping area of the wolves. Nice against the glass. Nice one there. Fix the wall there. That they can escape. Very important. Food, water. Now it's time for the plants. Uh, what I like to do is, uh, of course, make clusters, but working on each cluster at uh, one time is a lot of work. So I like to just take one plant, spam it all over, and make uh, your, your one plant clusters out of it. Uh, and you, yeah, make like this, and uh, you spam it all around. And then after that you take another plant and you spam it against that and you add plants to your cluster each time uh, so you go plant by plant and not cluster by cluster. You're gonna save a lot of time by doing that. So then take your second plant and you spam it inside your clusters uh, to expand it and put your second plant all around. And like that I work uh, my way down, to, uh, down towards the plant list that the animal gives me. So that I'm uh, gonna spam a lot of plant types, uh, so I will uh, do that.
Okay, so I'm gonna put in some enrichment items, uh, some uh, stuff that makes them go uh, near the normal barriers, and some toys that makes them want to go near the crane barriers, so that they should be spread around in where the walls should hang around. I don't want to see the concrete of the barriers. I'm gonna use the same trick as a lot of zoos and uh, tropical swimming pools use. Use fake rocks to hide concrete walls. So as you can see, I'm going all around the barrier to hide my ugly concrete wall. And make it look like the zoo didn't have uh, Make it look nice for the guests. So this is uh, it uh, on building on this episode. Uh, I did a lot more uh, talking over. I hope you liked it. Uh, let me know if you did. Uh, I can always uh, go back to the talking in the beginning and in the end and just time lapse in the middle. Let me know what you prefer in the comments. So uh, the habitat, nice and green with a viewing area of course here that we're gonna cover up with some trees. Uh, we'll see how we're gonna do that later. So that's it for uh, this episode. Uh, I'm not gonna upload the blueprint yet because I'm not really liking how the back of the train is looking. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks for watching, goodbye!